New Zealand's home of live comedy, the classic Comedy Club, is celebrating its 20th year with a Mocktober festival featuring a combination of legends. Rising stars, <laughs> new faces, and even rookies fitting into at least one of these categories. <laughs> on the first one is Jeremy Corbett, who joins us along with the classic founder Scott Blanks. Thanks. Welcome, guys. Yes, Hi, welcome. Yeah. welcome. Not many people that can make legend sound like an insult, <laughs> but you did it. <laughs> she did. did it. And that was That's my great. aim, actually. Funnily enough, I was like, legend just means that you've been, you know, you're, you're sort of mentor. The secret of my success is just sticking around. Yeah. <laughs> For so long that people say, "Well, he must belong here." <laughs> Most <laughs> experienced comedian. In Thank New you, Zealand. Scott. Oh, Oh, nice. Veteran, veteran. Yeah. That's another word too. Oh dear, veteran sounds like. Um, 20 years, Scott. Yeah. That's quite something. What on earth made you want to start this in the first place? Well, it was a band of, of similar sort of people that got together and thought it was a great idea to have our own club because people around the world had seemed to have their own club. Mm. So uh, we started it. No one really realised how long it was going to last. I don't think. And, and a lot of people said, it's not going to be there very long. Mm. So 20 years later, it was like... We're now talking about the next 20 years, uh, which wow. is planning. <laughs> and Jeremy, how much have you had to do with the comedy club over the last 20 years? Oh, heaps. Well, we were sort of, there's a band of us that sort of were passionate about comedy at the time and got together and, you know, started it up firstly at Kitty O'Brien's and now at the Classic, which, so we were even doing it before that 20 years, which wow. makes me feel even older. <laughs> but yeah, there's just a group of us that did it uh, for the love, certainly not for the money, Yeah. And, no. and got the club started and it's still there. It's amazing. amazing. Well, it makes you feel yeah. any better. I, I actually remember it starting. Do you? Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah. That does better make me feel also. better. Misery loves company. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott, tell me a little bit about Mocktober. What's the story? What's happening? Who's there? Well, it, it's become a sort of a, a, a month of celebration. You know how people used to have St. Patrick's Day and now it's like St. Patrick's Month? <laughs> yeah. Well, we've done the same. Our, our, we've taken the classic birthday and turned it into a classic birth month. Oh, no, because some people do that with their actual birthdays. <laughs> yeah. We make a song and dance about it. Yeah. So we, we fill it up with all sorts of different shows. So we have the... We've got the raw rookie comedians, and, and in, in um, October we get the legends to come along and MC the rookies. So it's bringing together the people from 20 years ago with the people who are just starting this year. I'm doing it tonight. I think I'm doing it tonight. You are doing it tonight. People that tonight. may not have been born when you started. Absolutely. Exactly. We yeah. have comedians who, who we have young comedians who come along who say, "Oh, my parents used to come on a date here." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the nice thing is I'm MCing, so I can stop them from getting anywhere. Yes. Because there's yeah. enough comedians. Crush don't need dreams. any more. Right. So I'll be emceeing in that manner. I'll be saying I'll be trying to undercut them as much as possible and um, make them make them give up comedy and take up accounting. That's right. The seven days bench is cats. That's we don't need any more. Don't need any more. Got enough. So how on earth did you go, Scott, from accountancy to comedy? <laughs> uh, it was very useful actually to have that as a background. Um, but when you were at school in my day, you didn't have a lot of choices. There was right. lawyer, accountant, teacher, nurse. I think that was about it. Or secretary. Um, so you had to choose one of those, and I went accounting and, and uh, realised very quickly it wasn't my future uh, passion. So I, I got into the entertainment game, which led to the comedy. Yeah. What do you think that's possibly why it's been successful and is still around to celebrate 20 years, is the fact that you had that background in accounting? <laughs> uh, it, that, it helped a little bit. It helped us to count the losses well. We, we knew how much we were losing, and we could tell you in, in dollars and cents how much we were losing. Yeah, still hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, it's, it's great. It was the passion. It's the passion that's yeah, kept it going, yeah. you know. And, and the support of, of people that have come along to see live comedy. And of course, that's just snowballed as people have, you know, social media has opened people up to the idea that that exists. Mm. And we've got our own club here in the heart of Auckland. It's well, I, I guess a lot of people that have been to the Classic in Auckland would look at the shows that are on TV3 now, like Seven Days. A lot of those people would not be there if it wasn't for the Classic Comedy oh, true. Club. true. Yeah. It's the spiritual home of stand up. And we're, we're like a school, we're like a training ground. Right. You have to start there. <laughs> so some of those people that are, uh, are on Seven Days now, they did their first gig on a raw night at the Classic. So Brilliant. they started. It, they learned, um, didn't learn much from him, but they did learn from some of the others. Getting it from both sides now. <laughs> it's going I've on. Been and back, and they've worked right. their way up to trying to take his job. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I'm aware of it, which is why I'm going to try and How stop it. How does them. that feel? Oh, look, look, bring it on. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to retire. I've had enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, this, it's great. Look at the, the girl you just played before. She was yeah. essentially doing stand up. That she girl was. on the couch about the gym. It's like yes. they yeah. learn so young now and they come up and they, they get up on stage and they do joke, 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 joke. I mean, when we started, I think it's fair to say it took me about half an hour to get to a joke. <laughs> You know, but they're so... You're big on build-up. I was big on build-up. Yeah. Big build-up. And the thing is, too, these days, is that a lot of, of young comedians can actually 
almost practice their craft on social media. Yep. Yeah. Sort of work what goes with the crowd and then put it into a stand-up show. Yeah. Well, everyone's a comedian these days. Yeah. You, know, it's, you see them, and you can only have to read um, social media to see how many people are trying to write stuff that's funny. Yeah. And, they, and they can, with their phones, they can record themselves doing it and post it straight away. And it takes a lot of practice and a lot of skill to get to your level. Yeah. Well, there's no better test than getting up in front of a live audience at the Classic, which is always a wonderful audience. They're warm and supportive, but that's they right. will let you know if you're not making the cut. No, but well, that's what I love about it, though, because it, it is like that, isn't it? If yeah. you go along and you experience it, you never know what's oh, going to yeah. happen. It's a roller coaster, oh, right? Yeah. I think that would be terrifying. I can't think of anything that would be scarier. Well, book you in next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah. Anyway, what was the next question? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, how did you get into comedy? Um, mine, mine first started... Well, I, I'm from a large family. It was a family of four boys, so you had to compete for attention and food at the table, so my older brother was a mechanic, so he had that, he could talk to Dad about that, and I was right. number two, so I had to go for something, and I went for trying to get laughs. And that just continued through university, got into the capping review there, and then from there just kind of progressed through just doing comedy the whole time, in combination sort of in parallel with doing it on radio, and then the, the classic came along and stand-up kind of became a thing. And, and, did you, and you've made a great career of it. Did you ever Thank think you. when you started that you'd you know, be able no. to pay the mortgage? No, it was never an option. Right. No, I went to a very grammar-like school and my father was a doctor, so I was expected to follow university and study something very serious. So, you know, I spent my life trying to avoid my destiny. Yeah. Do you know when, when you come in, Mike gets all funny? He gets like he's lovely. Am I allowed to say this? Lovely no, man. You no, it's he gets just... all he gets all like he gets all nervous <laughs> around you. No, because I watched Jeremy's career and I'm like, oh, geez, I'd love to do that one day. I'm not funny though. That's the problem. <laughs> You're so very funny. funny. Yeah. I'll be Let laughing all the time. Anyway, yep. now I'm blushing. Okay, so <laughs> Scott, no, tell him, make it's good. <laughs> how, how how important do you think that the the classic comedy club is to the, I guess, the, the future of New Zealand comedy? Well, it is a cornerstone of our injury, uh, of our um, industry. Injury. injury. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that come from? Oh, yeah. a cornerstone Fortune of the yeah. industry, and uh, and it will remain so. I hope for another. So, with all the years. changes, it's, yeah. it's still playing a very important part. Yeah. Well, the, the, funny enough, with the, with people so much into digital media now, the classic is a wonderful time out from that because we make sure they put their phones away mm -hmm. and they have to watch a live show. And a, a live show is becoming more and more of a valuable commodity. Yes, you're you can't right. you can't just take it for granted anymore. And and com comedy is so accessible for people. Uh, so I hope that it's around for another 20 years. Goodness knows how many comedians we will have in 20 years' we'll time. See you, we'll see you back here in 20 yeah. years doing the same thing. <laughs> I'll still <Maybe>. be gigging. <laughs> Probably. I'll still be going. As long as Scotty lets me up on the stage. Yeah, you'll be Jerry doing Scott. Monday nights permanently. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mock Thanks Tober for having us. at the Classic continues in Auckland with Jeremy Corbett performing tonight and much more to come as well. Check out comedy.co.nz for all the details.